change it all. Yeah, greatness. Yeah, it feels like greatness. Legendary in the making. Reach out and we take it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cosmas Wrestling Recap. With a jam-packed Raw in the books, just two weeks away from Backlash, with potential turmoil between teams and championship matches, what did you think about the show, Matthew? It was a kick to a new era, and it certainly delivered tonight. I think we needed some answers after WrestleMania. What's this new era? How is it going to shape up? And honestly, this show really helped us get an idea. They opened it with, of course, a huge pop. Jey Uso opening the show. He's just such a baby face. You know what I mean? The crowd loves him. And he just, he has it, right? He definitely does. He's interrupted by, well, <laughs> it's weird to say, but new world champion Damian Priest. I already miss Seth Rollins. But Damian Priest is so deserving and he's absolutely killing it. He has some aura when he goes to the ring. You know, bisexual Undertaker. I'm totally feeling it, man. <laughs> he definitely does have some type of aura, though. But, you know what? I'm totally down for Damien Priest. So, McDonough actually attempts to sneak attack Jey Uso, but it actually backfired and ended up kind of hitting into Damien Priest. And then Jey Uso super kicked Damien Priest as he was going to super kick JD. JD moves out of the way. All that nonsense. Priest yeah, this was perfect. Kind of... It really was. Yeah, no, go ahead. It just uh, set the night off to a torrid pace. We saw J.D. McDonough make that blunder, and they got the crowd on their feet, especially with Pat McAfee and Michael Cole kicking. Oh, my God. Giving us an update on our main event for the evening that certainly delivered, as we'll get into later. Oh, can't wait for that. Tag team title rematch, Awesome Truth and DIY. World Tag Team Championship match up here. Lots on the line, man. Uh, You know... Was I expecting a title change tonight? Honestly, I was optimistic, right? But, you know, I just don't see why they would take them off truth. And Miz, and they didn't do that, right? So I think it was a clean matchup. Definitely showed us what some tag team wrestling is all about. DIY, even though they took the L, they're still hot and they still are just so good together. You know, just give them some more time and later down the road, it's, it's going to be their time to shine. But, Truth is just, oh man, this this, this guy's he, he's too good. And he could be serious in the ring when he bonds, you know what I mean? But tonight was just one of those nights where he had a killer, killer match with uh Miz. Speaking of killer, let's jump right into uh wow, seeing Gunther come down to the ring. It was different, man. Seeing no title around his waist, and it was a bit bare. He vows to hunt any championship he pleases. You know, it's kind of a weight off his chest, I guess you could say, which he kind of uh said thank you to Sami Zayn for that. But it's going to start beginning with King of the Ring. I think that's where his ascend is going to start, right? He's going to kill him, man. And he's going to be named King of the Ring, despite whoever um, enters. We ended up getting New Day versus Imperium. New Day comes out. They're just, you know, they're good. But I think it's time for something different. But, you know, not everybody's going to agree with me. And I totally get it. Wow, this was a good match. New Day defeats Imperium. Kaiser attacks Vinci after the match, after Gunther kind of walks off on him, and Kaiser goes to the back, and he is met by Gunther, and they kind of grin at each other. So this is some good storytelling, man. I'm totally down for a Vinci solo run here, but what they got cooking with Gunther is definitely interesting. McIntyre, he's out next. <laughs> Sits in the middle of the ring, cuts a promo. He's just, he spins so much better on this mic every night. Every Monday I look up, are we going to get Drew McIntyre on the mic? And, and we did. Sheamus comes out, actually. They kind of, you know, Sheamus kind of parades on Drew McIntyre saying, you know, he's he's blaming other people for his problems when it's really just himself and he needs to be a bigger man. Drew said, you know what? I still am your friend. I'm going to be here for your next matchup. I'm going to sit on commentary. So it's Sheamus versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. And before we get into this match, Drew McIntyre, what did he make a shot at? Pat Sheamus McAfee and Sheamus and, and everybody uh, involved in the match. He's just been so social media, you know, ready. And whatever is going on in social media, Drew McIntyre has got to talk about it. And this is honestly really, it's really good stuff. You know what I mean? Oh, you um, can say that again. I really loved how tonight's show really went. 
You know, Sheamus picking up the win with that Irish curse from the second rope and uh, the 10 piece of the Bowery and not to mention the vicious brogue kick. Good win for Sheamus. Second win in a row since his comeback. And uh, good to see him and Drew McIntyre heating up that rivalry again. Absolutely. Chad Gable out next, cutting the promo with Alpha Academy in the ring. Um, how basically Sami Zayn kind of brutally, well, I guess you could say he assaulted Sami Zayn in the front of his wife and friends in Montreal. And Sami Zayn kind of rubbed it in Gable's nose by doing that after defeating Gable. Gable just turns heel instantly. Starts poking at Maxine, Akira, and, well, Otis. He's verbally attacking them. Definitely a character change here with Gable is going to be very interesting. This has Regal, Pritchard, and Triple H written all over it. Super pumped with what they got going on with him. To be honest with you, it's you his time to again. shine. It's awesome. Oh. It really is. I'm excited to see this new direction he goes in, especially with the WWE draft coming up next week starting. Could he be moving to SmackDown or stay on Raw? But I think right. the Apple Academy is going to be no more quite soon. Could we see him start a new faction, maybe with the Creed brothers turning heel as well? Just some ideas. Give I them something to do. Correct. That. I can see it, but never say never. Um, I, I feel like they got something else up their sleeve with them, but we'll see. Um, Ricochet and Andrade versus J.D. McDonough and Sandra Zescover. This happened earlier in the match when Dominic Mysterio wasn't able to compete as J.D. McDonough was to take on, of course, well, the team of Ricochet and Andrade. He actually invites Santos Escobar Dominic to team with JD, and Damien doesn't agree with this. He's not happy about it, but he says, All right, go handle business. <laughs> what is with the friction between uh, teams tonight? We had Tommaso Ciampa kind of walk away from Johnny Gargano after their title yeah. loss. We had the official breakup of Ludwig <laughs> Kaiser and the Imperium stable. Looks like Giovanni Vinci. Yeah. Turned on. Poor Vinci, it was man. a night of turns on tag teams, man. It was kind of crazy. It, it definitely was, but you know what? This match was so good. This is just why tag team wrestling is so much fun. Ricochet and Andrade defeat McDonough and Escobar. So after this matchup, Damien Priest, he was, he, well, he actually came to attack. Of course, well, <laughs> I see it coming. Ricochet and Andrade kind of stood tall to close out the segment kind of bowing down to Mysterio, saying, you and JD need me. I don't need you guys. It's so true. You know what I mean? It totally is. And Michael Cole even said something. And I completely agreed with the dude. But nonetheless, this stuff is interesting. They're keeping it high above towards the end of the show. Definitely was a smart move. But Dominic Mysterio, he doesn't miss a beat. The crowd even telling him to shave his mustache. This kid is always going to be um something special with the crowd. But uh, let's head towards our main event here. Something special for sure. For this, dude. Something oh, my special, God. man. Oh, dude, so good. Uh, you know, Dynasty Battle killed Royal. it. And I think this is where WWE said, all right, we're going to show you that, you know, we're not just full of entertainment. We got some wrestling in us. And the women in this match absolutely killed it. Candice LeRae, Indy Hartwell, Maxine Dupree, Ivy Nile, Caden Carter, <laughs> Caden Carter, excuse me, Katana Chance, Chelsea, Green, Piper Niven, Shayna, Selby Stark, The Rhino, Nia Jax, Natalia, Liv Morgan, and Becky Lynch. Obviously, I think we were all pulling for Liv Morgan here. Very fun battle royal stories just kind of across the whole board, honestly, with this. I think this was just such a well-put main event. We got stories, like I said, from everybody. And it just wasn't like, a, all right, we're going to get a woman and we're going to throw her in this matchup. She's going to be the winner. And all women kind of have to end up just jobbing out to her. But everybody kind of set up a little feud. And what feuds that were going on definitely kind of culminated throughout the matchup. And it was so well put together. I'll tell you, it was a great main event. A feud with Jax Morgan. And I think it was Becky Lynch, last woman. And then the final two, after both women take out Nia Jax, Morgan oh. and Becky on the apron. Bro, I was having, honestly, hard palpitations watching this. I forgot how it finished. I think Lynch won the title here with the um, kick. It was yes. absolutely breathtaking. The crowd honestly thought Liv had it. And off goes the apron, Liv. Becky Lynch, man. The crowd was going ape shit. I'm by rights, which you even celebrated with the crowd, but everybody thought Liv was going to do it until a 
quick second, man. That's how magical this stuff is. Becky Lynch knocks Liv. Nobody expected it, to be honest with you. I didn't at all. Crazy. Yeah, you and me both, dude. That's just Triple H and the writers in the back keeping us on our toes. Big win for the man, Becky Lynch. Definitely uh, deserving. In her seventh title reign as Raw Women's Champion, man. Absolutely incredible. I think they want to kick this new era off with a bang, and by doing it with Becky, you know what? Go for it. I'm here for it too, man. Exactly what you said. I love how the show ended tonight. Let us know what you guys thought about this week's Raw. Always like, comment, subscribe. And with the WWE draft coming up, Cosmet will keep you guys updated on everything that you need to know. Until then, peace out. This has been Cosmet. Thanks for watching.